Hello everyone, this is Dawn Richardson and I'm going to share this on my Twin Hearts of Blaze um, YouTube channel. Just feeling very strongly that this uh, might support someone out there um, at some point now or in the future. So let me try to articulate what I'm being um, given or shown. By the way, I'm sitting on my screened in porch on my um, trampoline. <laughs> so sorry for the casualness. Um, so I um, just am feeling very strongly that there are individuals out there who are just not um, aware of what they're experiencing, and that feel can feel uh, unsettling and frightening. And it can it can uh, put us in a situation where we're just like we, we may be going through the motions externally day by day, but we're like in this free fall. So this is a state of being in, of, <laughs> of which I am well acquainted and have had many experiences with this myself for a variety of situations. But in this video, I want to speak specifically to those of you who are experiencing a lot of shifts internally that uh, lead you to feeling like you just don't know who you are and you don't know what your next step is and you're not sure you can make it through all of this and you don't, I mean, you're questioning everything and you're beginning to feel a little bit lost in it all and you may be even experiencing some depression or uh, turmoil in terms of um, emotions, um, maybe even thought processes or, you know, just going haywire. Um, or perhaps there might also be just sort of a sense of grief and deep loss and sadness that you may not be able to attach to anything in particular. So this has another name. It's called awakening <laughs> and not to treat it lightly because this is a heavy it can feel you can feel very thrown off balance and very uncertain about what's happening a lot of feelings can come up a lot of emotions you may be questioning the most basic things about your your life and who you are and uh what is this thing called humanity <laughs> and what are we doing here and maybe you're realizing there's something a little more than, than you've gone through your life in a certain way, um, perhaps expecting certain outcomes when you uh, align your life in a certain way or fit into either society's expectations or your own expectations for how you think it's all supposed to go. I know I had this. And, um, you know, some of it I took on from... Um, you know, my upbringing or things that I learned about how this life was supposed to go. Um, and sometimes it just wasn't falling into place for me anymore. So I was given the gift in my own journey of going through this um, in a pretty dramatic fashion at several key points of my journey. I'm 51 years old now, and I used to say when I was about... 29, 30, that I felt as if I were 90. And so it doesn't matter what age you are. You could be, you know, in your sixth or seventh decade on earth, or you could be, um, you know, a 19 year old uh, heading off to college. So it doesn't matter what age you are. What I want you to be open to is that there comes a point for all of us, and it's different points. So in my journey, I actually really feel like I came into this life quite um, awake, if you want to use that term, or aware, um, but in, to such a degree and in such a way that I literally felt that to survive in this environment, I had to dumb myself down, shut myself, shut myself down, cut it off, cut myself off, or distance myself. So I, I created a, a series of coping mechanisms for myself too. <laughs> get through. Um, and I don't really recommend that. And I don't think it's necessary anymore. I think we're living in a time in, where, in which there is um, just a much broader spectrum of 
um, experiences that is available to each of us that um, where people that are going through this can understand that no they are not crazy so the other coping mechanism I used in my 30s uh, early 30s into my uh, yeah it's mainly my 30s was to just finally just throw my hands up and say fine I'll I'll be crazy then if you guys think I'm crazy fine you know and I played that out um, it was very painful. Don't do that either. <laughs> Not to give you advice. You do what you wish. Um, but I do feel like this, um, this video is speaking to some of you who maybe are very uncertain, very unsettled, and I know what that's like. And so the first thing I want to do is just to assure you that um, there are many people who are experiencing that at this time um, in our history, and whatever time you're finding this video, it's just that's the time, you know, so um, you're not alone and you're not crazy and there is no need to shut yourself off from what you're experiencing. You may wish to take a little bit of um, time and to create a safe space for yourself. I'm still doing that and I've um, been on, um, on this uh, path of embracing where I am and who I am for a good five or six years now um, and really really more than that really a little more than a decade and it can still require just a gentleness and so be with that and just allow yourself the space and the time that you need to adjust so what I would recommend is that you uh, take some time to connect in. Um, my best method for doing that for me is a return to nature, to take a walk, to just be present to what I'm feeling. I don't have to analyze it. One of the ways that we really set a trap for ourselves is to try to force fit what we are experiencing, which we are experiencing as a soul, as a spirit in a body. We are not Everything is not physical and everything is certainly not mental and what can really throw us off is when we try to fit what we are feeling or experiencing or what our souls know and are crying out for us to acknowledge and when we try to fit all of that into some tiny little construct that we have created uh, following often society's prescription for how we are you know, meant to move through this life. And that just simply is not sustainable as we move into the time of transformation. Well, we're well into the time of transformation that is unfolding right now. We are adjusting. There are new energetic um, pathways emerging daily right now. Things are moving quickly. And it has never been more important for us to uh, rely on one another and to know that we are part of a beautiful dance of life and we are part of a community of souls and we are connected in ways that we have dismissed and it's time now for us to just really embrace the whole of who we are that's our that's our individual work and to really honor one another and to be gentle with one another and to be gracious and to allow each other to move through this in the ways that we move through it individually and we are moving through it collectively so there's always I talk about this a lot in my books you know there's always the individual level and the collective level and they are uh, very similar and but you know manifest um, in different ways and they show up um, in, in uh, a variety of situations and um, so what is important to realize and recognize whatever you're experiencing is is that it is all okay and there is no need anymore as a matter of fact it's not going to be sustainable anymore for you to continue to judge yourself and to continue to separate out all of these aspects of your life it just it's not it's not who we're meant to be. And so I just want to invite you. I just felt so strongly that I don't know, you know, who this message is for or, you know, if it's even in this time, but I felt so strongly that someone 
someone out there just needed to know that right now and to know that um, there, there are people here for you. You know, there are whatever it is you're going through. If you are battling with some of the old ways of being that have been become so entrenched that you can't find your way out, if you, you know, or you're dealing with addiction or you're dealing with um, thought patterns that are not productive for you and that are harmful or lead to harmful expressions or, or behaviors, I absolutely understand and know what that is like. I also know what it is like when you feel like just a wash in this sea of you know, choppy water that um, is ever shifting and you can't seem to find, you know, your way and you feel literally like lost and tossed about day after day and you feel like the storms are just battering you. Take time to rest. Take time to adjust. There is no hurry. You know, there is no hurry. We can move through this in the time that feels best to us and that's going to be different for all of us some of us like to like fly at lightning speed and some of us like to take our time and just you know uh, just take small iterations um, and then there is also the changing energies of uh, around us of the world of the seasons we're moving into fall right now just had the fall equinox and a series of lunar eclipses and solar eclipses and all kinds of stuff has been going on, um, as I understand it, with that. Um, and so those of us who are sensitive experience those shifts in the world at large um, in a pretty strong way. So I just wanted to just, just invite us today to be gentle with all of the shifts and to know that none of us is alone. You know, if you're feeling really, really alone, um, or, you know, send me a message, uh, leave a comment below and I, um, you know, don't, I'm not going to have time to respond to, you know, a huge volume of emails, but I want you to know that your voice will be heard and I want you to um, trust in life, trust that life is working in your favor and then partner with life and go forward today and in the next day and, and begin with moments in this moment and the next moment and the next moment and and go forward with a spirit of curiosity and wonder and even adventure if you can get there and just allow yourself to be with whatever the mystery is and and trust that that you are light and you are life and you are love I know I say it all the time and I know it's simple um, but it's true and allow yourself to feel the deep gratitude and appreciation for yourself Okay, that first Lots of love to all of you Catch you next time. Bye